Hey, let's talk about it lynching white kids and the You Now Child scandal. Hey y'all, welcome to another Food for Thought. And today, well, first of all, I had planned on doing a review of It, but it just seemed like so many things have come together to make this a much more interesting video than if I were simply to talk about the movie It. So I'm gonna sit here, I have some chamomile tea, y'all. This is calm chamomile because this is gonna be a topic, this is a topic that could potentially get really, really, really hot. So, a couple things happen. So this weekend, I'm doing my, you know, You Now live broadcast, and it's pointed out to me that Charles Marlowe, uh, who is the vegan cheetah, has broken a story about a gentleman who was, for all intents and purposes, grooming underage children on You Now. And when we talk about grooming, we're talking about you build a relationship over time, through social media, through an accepted tool, right? It's, it's you know, a not very anonymous sometimes. Sometimes there's an element of catfishing where the individual may present themselves to the young person as someone that they're not. And eventually you build the trust of the person and eventually you can either, you know, set up meeting that person or have that person sending you inappropriate content, right? And this is actually not the first time something like this has happened. There have been scandals going back, you know, through, you know, throughout social media, right? There's been scandals about things like this happening and there's tons of stuff and maybe I'll include some links to some articles in the description box below, but it is not the first time that we're hearing about young people being pulled into inappropriate relationships with older, and mostly it's men, it's mostly older men who get, who engage in these things. So Charles breaks the story. It was actually um, a vegan called Quest, who I don't know if Charles Marlowe credited at all for an amazing interview that a vegan called Quest did with an older man who had been grooming young people on You Now, talking to them, getting them to do some things that may be considered inappropriate, in Charles Marlowe's video, he's showing some footage of some um, young girls. Um, I was a little disturbed because Charles neglected to blur out their faces, and I don't know it's, if it's that Charles doesn't have the ability to do that, but by Charles showing the faces of those young people on his channel, even though it was information that was available already, I think he, in some ways, added to add it to the problem, right? So you have more people looking at the faces of the clearly identif identifiable faces of these young girls. So if, you know, depending on who's watching Charles Marlowe's channel, you might even be opening them up to more exposure to people who are inappropriate, right? People who are inappropriate. And so, you know, Charles was, I think, trying to, you know, um, I don't know if he was virtue signal, I don't know what he was trying to say, you know, oh, it's so inappropriate, this man shouldn't be doing this, and he's breaking the story, but here's the problem. I don't wanna make this all about vegan cheetah, but this is for anyone who is making inappropriate content on YouTube, on you now, your content, you don't know who's watching your content. And the fact that Charles Marlowe puts peanut butter on his genitalia and shows it on the camera, you don't know how many little girls were watching that video or have watched that video or are still able to look at that content. So before you start getting upset because you're, you know, because an, uh, an adult is showing their genitalia to young girls, you have to recognize that you too are engaging in behavior that is for general consumption. So you're part of the problem. You're part of the problem. And I don't wanna like call, this is not a call out video. This is not a call out video calling out the vegan cheetah for being a pedophile or anything like that. This is saying 
before you start looking at what other people are doing on social media, you have to look at the way your behavior is feeding into that culture. And so if you're saying things that are demeaning to women, if you're saying things that are demeaning to any group, and then you see that group being targeted, no one cares. You know, no one is, the people who are going to target indiscriminately in that way, they're not going to suddenly shift the behavior because it's about young girls. So when you suddenly have these little girls on your video, now you've created a video that is, you know, um, now, to be now for consumption by other pedophiles. So now you've just basically, you've created your own child pornography. You've created your own child pornography. Thinking that you're helping, but actually because you haven't been thoughtful and because generally speaking, you're not thoughtful, you've created now, you've created child pornography. And just because you're showing it on your channel, your channel is not, it is not a news channel. I'm sorry. Your channel is not a news, it's not a credentialed news channel. You don't get, they're not gonna let you into the White House, right? <laughs> they're not gonna let you into the White House. So as far as, you, as anyone is concerned, you're just some knucklehead making videos, just like I'm some knucklehead making videos. So I'm not gonna show you images of young girls without their without something signed by their parents giving me permission to show those faces right and and I don't even think that that's appropriate I I don't I cuz I don't think that even a parent has the right to you know sign away their child's privacy in that way for them to be subjected to the eyes of potential pedophiles and it's so funny because last year we're all having <laughs> conversations about, you know, whether or not trans people can use the bathroom, and yet here we have social media creating the perfect opportunity for, um, for the people who would be a danger to your children, not the trans people, but the people who really are the danger to the children, which is generally, you know, men, <laughs> straight men, who, uh, who, you know, have this fascination. So that's going on. Meanwhile, um, uh, Plant Goals shows up and tells me about a video by XXX Tentacion, and XXX Tentacion's video um, is, you know, it's a it's a social commentary video talking about racism, talking about the history of the murder of 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 African Americans, and you know, underlining Emmett Till, who was, I believe, a 13 year old um, black child who was murdered in the South and brutally, brutally murdered and the murderers got off. The murderers got off. And in the video, um, the artist is, shows a, you know, scene where there's a theater and there are two little boys on the stage. Obviously they're actors. It's a music video. One of the little boys is white or can be identified as white. One of the little a boys can be identified as um, as black or African American, right? And so, something transpires, and there's a choice about which one of them is going to end up being lynched. And there's a lynching, and the and it's the little white boy who's lynched. Now, it's not done in a way that's especially violent. He's lifted on a rope. You can kind of see it pulling on like a little harness. Like the little boy's not screaming. It's not done in a way that's grotesque. It is so tasteful and so symbolic. The boy is gently lifted in the air on the rope until his feet go out of the shot, right? And so it's symbolically lynching the little white boy. Again, done in a way that's not very Trump traumatic um, to, you know, to demonstrate this point. And so Fox News, The Sun, The Daily Mail, other, um, other publications have been talking about now that there's a scandal, that this is a scandal, that this is outrageous, and people expressing, you know, you know all kinds of different opinions about this. Um, I think it's ridiculous because also this week, the movie It, which I'm not going to do a review of now, but this is where this is where the movie It comes in. The movie It, which forgive the spoilers, if you don't know what it is about, it is about a 
a, a child murdering clown <laughs> named Pennywise. It's about a child murdering clown. The entire film, it's an entire film about the murder of children. Um, if you've ever read the book, the book actually contains um, some material that is quite um, suggestive in its in, in sexual nature with you know activities between the children it's a it's a it's a very disturbing book in fact I actually think it's one of his best books but it's very 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 disturbing the way it presents childhood and childhood as this very violent space and you know when you look at the you know, when you look at the, the the numbers around bullying, we know that childhood is a very violent space. Um, it's a it's a violent space for children. Being a child, um, you know, going to schools, right? These are very very violent spaces for children, and so. Stephen King in his book in some ways shows the way that this this undercurrent, uh, the violence in our society is having a particular effect on children and the movie It in some ways represents that. But the movie It, and tr close your ears for the next 20 seconds because I'm going to say this out loud, the movie It begins with an incredibly violent murder of a child, a little white boy. All right, so um, you know what? Those of you who I said cover your ears, don't, you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep talking about it, so this might still be a spoiler. Anyway, so you have the murder of, of children happening in the movie It, which, by the way, over the weekend, while people were, you know, up in arms about this symbolic hanging in XXX Tentacion's video, it made $60 million at the box office. They're saying it's one of the highest grossing fall films of all times, or September films of all times, which is, I'm, I'm guessing is just, there's not, films don't do that well in the fall. But It, this movie It, with the child murders happening, is now, you know, earned 60 million over the weekend. So the, the, what we're, t when, when, you know, when the director of It, <laughs> you know, when, you know, this big Hollywood box office smash now depicts the murder of children. Crickets, crickets, crickets. It's $60 million. But this, this, you know, this music video that de depicts a very mild symbolic killing. It's violence. Yes, I'm going to say it's violence. And, you know, I would never want to see what happens to either one of these children, you know, uh, in these films. I would never want to see that happen to anyone, 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 anyone. But these things are not being responded to in the public in the same way, in the media in the same way, right? And we talk about the media, you know, being this leftist tool or what have you, but the media s seems to be responding to these two things that are fairly equivalent the murder of a child a little while the murder of a little white child the murder of a little white child one of them wow it's 60 million dollars at the box office the other one that was so inappropriate why did this person do this there's outrage there's scandal it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense and i want someone to explain it to me maybe it's the fact that the music video is going to have more general consumption and the film who knows but let's be honest if someone wants to go and watch that movie right now there's a place to go right now online and watch that movie right it's not like we can protect young people from that film um and let's be honest there's places in the country right now where young people, underage people, are going into that film and they're seeing it, right? So the question is, why is it that, you know, on the one hand, we have something that's considered horrendous being positively reinforced. That money come, you know, that money represents people flocking to the box office to see this film, whereas we see this outrage from, from XXX Tentacion's video. And I think for one reason that it's, you know, it is racially charged. The, the video itself is racially charged. Um, and I think that people are likely more uncomfortable that this act is being used as a way to raise the profile of this, of this uh, issue 
right, to get us talking about it. It was funny because there was somebody who was on my channel, um, on the live stream, who was just outraged and they were saying some things that were racially charged. Um, that were pretty racially charged. And I think it went, it was completely lost on them, the idea that, you know, these two things were happening at the same time. That this video that, I'm gonna be honest, I would never have seen the video. And I'm sure that the number of people watching that video is now increased by the fact that they've made such a scandal out of it, right? So that's a whole other thing. So just to, you know, just bring it down, you know, when it comes to kids and the way kids are used, let's, I mean, let's even talk about um, with Mod Vegan and the videos about the diamonds, right? There are gonna be people who do not care that children in Africa are suffering because of, you know, the diamond industry, right? There are people who do not care that little children in India are being exploited to be able to cut these diamonds to make sure that we have access to these diamonds, right? However, when a particular individual tries to take hold of that image and use it for a very particular po purpose, and that's to address the issue of racism, suddenly this thing becomes egregious, right? So, you know, we just got, we have to do better than that. We have to do better than that. We have to be more aware of our own hypocrisy. I think, I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe from where you stand, um, a, if we're using the murder of children to make money in Hollywood, then yeah, we can kill as many of them as we want. But the fact of the matter is that there are young people who are dying every day, you know, four of the seven, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. Yesterday, 20,000 uh, 20, children died from totally preventable causes every single day. 20,000 children are dying for preventable, you know, preventable, due to preventable causes and likely due to, you know, the spread of capitalism and the spread of democracy, all of these foolish things that we pl play lip service to, but in honesty, and on, you know, in all honesty, we have to really question whether what our values really are. So, again, that's why I'm having chamomile tea today. <laughs> and that's why instead of a review of it, we're talking about just the theme of children and child exploitation and how do we protect our children and what does it mean to protect our children and it's one thing to say that you care about our children and a complete other thing to make the choices that are necessary to make sure that they're safe that's it for this video like it if you like it share comment subscribe this is reg signing off love yourselves peace and i love myself